Custom dashboards are a really powerful feature in Coral Objects, and they enable some functionality that just isn't simply available in other dashboarding solutions. Let's take a look at some of those features now. We can see here, for example, we have a single widget, but inside that widget, we have separate queries along spans and metrics. So we have a look here, we have the 99th percentile and the median, uh, which is driven by spans, and this is the latency of certain database queries. However, on top of that, we also have a metric query here, and that's uh, mapping these CPU of a Postgres database. Um, actually, this the capability is really powerful. You can already see where it's useful. We can see the database has spiked here. And we can see that the, at the same time, there's a latency spike here. So what we actually can understand is that actually the spike in the database uh, CPU is driving spikes in query performance. And that's a really interesting insight because over here, a spike occurs in latency, but CPU doesn't spike. So we know something is going on here, but this kind of view gives us that real powerful insight. By the way, if we want to change this in any way, we can move this around any way we like. So we might move this or maybe below or to the side or in between. Really, really easy to do. Adding new widgets is really easy. You just pick the one you're interested in, drop it in, and you can move it any way you want. You can see it highlights red here, and that really clearly sees that it's not available. Highlights green, you suddenly have a new data table, and it automatically opens up into this brilliant UI that you can configure and customize almost every detail about that dashboard. Now, this particular use case is all about the DevOps case, and DevOps dashboards always have filters. Filters are really easy to add. You have log field value here. Let's say, for example, we filter by application. We get a nice preview or application name. We click save, we have a drop down. That drop down can be used to filter all of our dashboard uh, windows in here. Really, really powerful. This particular dashboard is all about the use case of measuring database performance. And by the way, if we don't like any of our changes, just revert them all. Um, and you can see here that we can measure, uh, we can use pie charts for, uh, to crouch the spans. We can see metrics down here. We can see some spans. And if we go further down, we'll also see a thing like log uh, calculation here. So this is a single dashboard driven by logs, metrics, and traces. And of course, we can also take the security use case here and have a look at VPC flow logs coming in. And this is also, this is primarily driven by metrics, which actually enables our events to metrics functionality. So we're not just using... Uh, standard metrics, these are metrics that have been derived from logs and then those logs have been dropped and the user does not have to pay for the indexing of those logs but they keep the metrics for a really long period of time. This is a really, really nice and really powerful feature that just illustrates how capable the custom dashboards feature is. So just to recap, uh, widgets are really easy to move around any way you want. Any green line indicates that it can be moved. Likewise, widgets are really easy to add and customize. And the whole UI is very, very intuitive. And of course, uh, the dashboards can have filters on them as well uh, using the filter functionality up here. And if you don't like anything you've done, you can always just revert your changes and you'll go back to the dashboard as it was before you've saved. Dashboards are really scalable, really powerful. I strongly recommend that you use as many of them as possible to get the most out of your data.